What's up, everybody? That's right here with an all-new playthrough. It's House of Ashes. Um, this is part of the Dark Pictures Anthology. So, same line of games as Man of Eden and... What was the last one? Little Hope. Uh, Little Hope I did last year for Halloween. This year, we got House of Ashes. I probably would do the next game coming out in this series, which is... I think Devil in Me, but it doesn't come out till November, so... I think you can get to wait. Um, yeah, so when I played, these games are pretty short, but I do enjoy them. They're not, they're not bad. They're pretty cool. The premise of the game is you have this little narrator dude who tells you a story about something, and then you go through a bunch of different characters, and you see what the fuck's going on. You play zone, make decisions, QTEs, try to keep everybody alive. Man and Median, when I first played that one, I only kept one guy alive, which is pretty fucking shitty. But I don't think a lot of it was my fault. Some of it was. So some of it, I kind of misread the situation that was going on. I was like, no, I'm not going to do anything. Maybe, I think they've just, you know, seen shit. Mistake. Dead. And then some of the QTEs in there were very misleading so in some of the QTs you know the button pops up you push it some of them you have to like mash the button to get it to go but they interchange them sometimes during like action scenes and by the time you forget oh shit you gotta mash it they don't give you enough time to really mash it and then you fuck it up that's kind of the reason that I lost a lot of people in that game but since I knew what to expect when I replayed it I ended up keeping everybody alive the second time which is good Little Hope was a lot easier that one I got everyone through that alive pretty quick. That game didn't have that great of reviews, but I actually enjoyed it. Um, this game actually had pretty decent reviews, so we're hoping for uh, some good stuff. But yeah, anyways, let's uh, let's start. I might have adjust some like volumes and stuff, but yeah. Skip to the end, okay. Skip to the end, okay. Um, I want to make sure this is bright enough for the recording. It looks like it's bright enough for Twitch. Just in case. Um, now, I don't know if the other ones had this, but this one has like online play and then like offline play too so i think you like each control like one character so this little anthology i believe it goes through all the games i think the other ones had this like man mean was the first one uh pretty good little hope i liked a lot of people didn't like it house of ashes and this is the next one coming out devil within me but this one doesn't come out till next month which is sad If you're that shoe into my dog, play with a bone. All right, well, let's go in there and see how many people we can keep alive. I might. There, there's. I don't remember there being. Difficulty levels. I guess it's based off QTE, so like the more you mess up, more forgiving. I get that, okay. For they have sown the wind, and they shall reap the whirlwind. Every choice has a consequence. Some decisions save lives. Others lead to death. Choose wisely. Alright. See how wise we are.
Well, that guy's dead. All those guys are dead. Will lift his curse from our land. Try to put on subtitles. I will. Me, my lord. The king demands your urgent presence. Can I pause it? I can't. Okay. Um, minimal. Fucking do all, bro. All right, cool. The gods smile on you. Now, take this one back to his cell. I'll deal with him later. You're in luck, Gutian. Luck? No. No luck for these dogs. General, we should leave this place. The king, his madness threatens to swallow us all. This temple. Is cursed. I'd rather die in this cursed house than perish to the plague and famine out there. We have our orders, Captain. The moon god sent you to destroy my kingdom. I know it, girl. I see everything. Look around you. Is this hall not famous enough for my mistake? Do the gods not bask in its glory? The Gutians are coming, General. The moon god sends an army to destroy us. I shall muster our forces immediately. Good. And what news from below? There are hundreds of prisoners, my king. Their sacrifice will take time. Time is no longer in our hands. I feel like I has like a fucking the blood of this metal beard. The sand. It's like it's not like the gold guy's mask, I get that one, but this one like the other dude has like the little smaller one. Starting with this one. Tell me, General. Does she remind you of anyone? My king? Do you not see a hint of your own daughter in her? What age would she have been now? Eighteen. Eighteen? Hmm. What a tragedy this plague has been. Kill her. Um. By your command. I mean, if we don't, the guy's gonna kill us, so. Oh shit. Tutorial. She just got moves. Fucking chugs the head. Very brutal. Oh, 
God damn, dude. Yeah. Alright. Gonna try to assassinate this guy. Well, that's not a weird looking statue. the volume up a little more on the game. I don't know if they're waking something up that was down there or what. Oh, they must have. Yep. for forgiveness but the gods don't listen and now he too is silent my king free of his madness now as are we all oh, shit. free to die this is your temple what can we do there is a way out through the catacomb I think I should trust you. I have no choice. I'm bugging. Man of Medan started a very similar way to this, where um, 
it had like a little past scene and then it jumped to the present time. I don't know why I don't like the way that circle button looked. It was like weird. I was like, the fuck? Follow me. There is a way out. You will fall. Hey, flies. Yes. For the builder to have done. Come. So this one's a lot easier than it was in like fucking um until dawn until dawn ate the whole controller steadying shit which i did not like i drink too much caffeine for that shit but this rhythm one's a lot easier So fucking right. Just right. How many men died for our king? Their sacrifice worth nothing. Alright, pick up, rotate around, look at it. A beetle. You're afraid of a beetle? What light source? Just this? Premonition unlocked. Arisen. That didn't really show much, but I know they have those games like... I don't know what the other ones had, like... The last team. I know, like, until Dawn had, like, the totems and shit. These games have, like, certain themes like that, too. They, like, show you what the fuck it is you're looking at. But this one just shows something crawling out of the ground, but you don't know what it is. Like, I really don't know how useful these things are. A couple of them have been useful in the other games, but, um, for the most part, a lot of this shit's like, you know what, if, if you haven't gone down that path, it doesn't really affect you. Here. Help me with this. What is this that adorns you? Nothing to concern an Arcadian. Hmm. How do we get out of here alive? So this should be nice, I'm assuming. The enemy of my enemy is a friend. Okay. What was that? How many ways into this tomb? We're not alone down here. Not alone. I doubt there's any reason to really explore as it's being like the uh, tutorial. I probably won't miss shit. Come in, join me. Well, hello. Good. 
Guardian! There's no escape. Our only hope is to stand together. No! If we both run, then we both die. Ready your swords. I'm not gonna betray him. You got knocked out by a kick. Oh! Oh, I fucked that up. Can you tell me I didn't hit that one on time? I doubt they're gonna make it out of here anyways, because, like I said, this is like the past. Just setting up is gonna happen in the future. Bearing updated. Does that really matter? I don't know. Okay. Whoops. Now get our little intro with the, uh, I don't know, it was the library or whatever the hell this guy's place is. That just goes to show you too that little tutorial section, so where I miss out last fucking QTEs. You gotta be fucking quick. Which is rough. Cause that's what um Metamin did, is you have the QT where you just push the button, and then in between those button prompts you have the ones you had to mash. And those are the ones that would fuck up. I don't remember Little Hope having those, like um the button mashing ones. In between. So let's see if this game has that shit. Or be lost in the darkness forever. Let me speak plainly. You're about to make some difficult decisions. Decisions that will affect the lives of others. How those decisions play out will become clear over time. I expect you're wondering who I am and where you are. I am the curator, the custodian of tales. My purpose is to keep a record of everything you do, every decision or mistake you make. This is my repository. This 
filled with untold stories. Stories about friends and enemies, loyalty and betrayal, life and death. Understand that I am not here to help you. Although I have been known to bend the rules from time to time. To descend into the unknown alone is extremely brave. Or extremely foolish. Perhaps there is more to you than meets the eye. Let me give you a few words of advice. Throughout the story, you will encounter certain pictures, pictures which allude to possible outcomes. I suggest you pay attention to their meaning. It could foreshadow a future. Yep, yep, yep. Yet, yep. alas, the sands of time have run out. We'll meet again soon to see how you fare. Or fail. Speaking of Sands of Time, there are they remaking that game? The Prince of Persia. Iraq, 2003. Okay. Jason Kolchak, first lieutenant, USMC, force recon. Colonel. Confident turn. and intolerant. Eric Kane, rational and secure. All right. Not particularly. Welcome to Camp Slayer. You're early. Apologies for arriving early, lieutenant. Things are moving fast. I hear you, Colonel. We're glad to have you on board. Techs are ready for your presentation. As soon as we get word from the CEO, Good to go. I always feel it's better to you should read this. always answer nice, not like a dick. The new year? There's a new king in the castle. Looks that way. Clarice. You are? This is my assistant, Clarice Stokes. Dr. Clarice Stokes. Go check. First lieutenant. I don't know why my dog wants to chew it right next to my oh. chair, so she makes even more noise because she hits the chair. Well, that's nice. Starting off sexual right away. It's not Marine. Can't you keep up? That was mean. This could be our last time together, Rachel. After what happened at the checkpoint, I thought I was done. These last few weeks, you, you've lifted me up. I don't know where I'd be without you. Cock blocked by a phone. I'll be there in five. Fuck, it's him. He's early. Your husband, you mean? What? Don't you think it's about time you came clean? Your clothes back on. Straighten up. Hey, Rachel. Are you gonna tell him about us or what? You and Eric have been apart for a year. Whatever you had, it, it's gotta be over. So she's cheating on him because she's out went to war. Baby, I just don't think that's the right time. That's Lie bullshit. to him. There's never a right time. Make him feel better. Soon, Rick. I promise. Soon. What a See briefing. Bitch. Shit. It's a weird little loading right there.
have to excuse the noise and disorder. We're just getting the base set up. Hmm. Blows my mind. Only a few weeks ago, Saddam was living it up in here. <laughs> Chowing down in candy bars while some poor bastard clipped his toenail. Nice image. Uh, if only you could see the state of this place now. Makes me smile. <laughs> you got the CIA, you got the Army, the Marines, DIA, the Air Force. Hey, everyone's invited. Everyone wants a piece of history. God bless America. God bless America. I see you, old man. You're busting out those reps. Uh, you come join me. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Later. We have company. Well, even this here would like to watch me get my sweat on. Huh? Wanna spot me, little lady? I can see you just fine from here, thanks. Ignore Corporal Merwin. He likes social skills. Uh, I guess every unit has its resident jackass. Sergeant K. This is Lieutenant Colonel Kane. Just taking him down to the briefing room. Yeah, gotta go get prepped. I'll see you in there, Marine. All right. This is not function. Nick ain't been himself lately. We got caught up in a shooting a few weeks back. Civilian ate a bullet. Nick took it hard. Is he combat ready? He's a big boy, sir. He's ready. A feeling later she might have to make a decision on who to help. Damn, Joey, they got you sitting behind a desk. You want me to make a call? Nah, I'm all good. People who sit behind desks don't tend to catch so many bullets, you know? This must be uh, the one and only satellite guy. Satellite guy? <laughs> the one and only satellite guy. I'm Eric King. Lieutenant Colonel Eric King. Give the Colonel full sight access. I'm telling you, when the queen bitch finds out about this, she's gonna flip her shit. Um, restraint. Rachel and I, we know each other. She'll understand all's fair in love and war. Sir? The queen bitch you're referring to is his wife. Nice work, hot shot. She thought something by the, uh, the last name. So sorry. Rachel never said she was married. We've been working apart this last year. So she's the queen bitch now. She's gone up in the world. If it helps, we like to think of it as a term of endearment. Sure. I mean, they might, but... If they do, why would you say to somebody that doesn't know her, you know? Shut up. All right, inspect the uh, the briefing room. I'll leave the techie stuff to you. I'll leave the heavy lifting to you. We got a deal, lady. All right. What is this place anyway? Looks like an old ballroom. Well, that's exactly Survey what group, organized and direct intelligence capabilities, cross coalition government agencies, blah 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 blah. Nothing, nothing useful. That wouldn't surprise me. Wow, they're hitting it off, aren't they? Well, that's cool. I didn't get to receive my note. Colonel King. Mrs. King. Eric, this is my team. And if you want to brief them, you clear with me first. I should have warned you I was moving the briefing forward. That's on me. Keep but it nice. I had to move fast. 
I have a duty to my team to stay ahead of the curve. I understand, Rachel, but CENTCOM has given their orders. Orders? I'm now commanding officer. I didn't mean for you to find out like this. Truly. I'm sorry, Rachel. Somehow I doubt that very much. This is from Sox Central. It confirms that Lieutenant Colonel King has assumed control of this operation. I'm gonna need access to your network. I'll patch you through. Name? Dr. Stokes. You can call me Clarice. Dr. Stokes, please prepare the presentation. You found something? All right. Time to brief. Fuck is that? Modern art or something? This is footage from the highly classified Kalis program. That fucking means something to me. It's a thermal satellite system that I personally pioneered. Oh, well, I'm impressed. Please, pioneer away. You behave like this in all your briefings, Corporal? Boys are just eager to catch a break, sir. No harm meant. Very well. Satellite sweeps of the war zone have uncovered what appears to be an underground storage facility. This will, of course, require further investigation, but I strongly suspect where Saddam's chemical weapons are hidden. We got you, you son of a bitch. CENTCOM has given the green light to raid the facility and seize any weapons on site. Hostilities may be over, but there are holdout groups of Republican Guard all over the country. They could deploy those weapons at any time, so we need to move fast. The Army is giving us a ride out there in their helos. On arrival, Lieutenant Kolchak will lead the raid on the facility. Once it's secured, we'll carry out a full weapons inspection. Now listen up. There's been a change of leadership, but Rachel's operational expertise and local knowledge is just as valuable as ever. She'll be flying with us, and I want you all to show her the same respect. Any questions? What well, the fuck are we waiting for? I'm ready. It's tribal territory out there, Colonel. Make no mistake, those people are feral. I take it we're getting their support? Nah, too many birds could bring them down on us. You move fast in, fast out. Yeah, that's pretty much what your mama said to me. Hey, careful, boy. If I didn't pull out so fast, you could have been your papi. <laughs> All right, that's enough, Merwin. Sir, what's your call? Fucking Merwin. Um, competent. We keep this thing small. If it goes south, I'll pull the plug and we can bug out. With all due respect, I think that's the wrong call. Yeah, I know, but... Respect, Lieutenant Kolchak, it's not your decision to make. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, I don't think we need it. Merwin has a point. Oh, wow. Everybody dislikes us. It'll be all right. We spin up too many helos, we'll increase our chance of being spotted. True. Any concerns? See me after. See, some decisions I think you have to make might be have negative effect on people, but it seems smarter overall. You can make up some, you know, pissed off people easier later. I'm just saying, that's all. This is why we went to war. This is what gets us out of bed every morning. Make no mistake, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we stop Saddam from using these weapons. Be ready in one hour. Dismissed. <coughs> Clarice, help me stop the equipment. I'm on it. I don't know, man. This don't feel right. Just gonna let me like try to relocate around the room or what? Down, we'll sort that right out, huh? I'm serious. Got a real bad feeling about this. That's what you get from spending too much time with Eric. Is there anything you can do? I'm gonna download the latest satellite. Data. I will say that the facial expressions in this game get kind of weird. Like they just don't look right. Especially like the mouths and the teeth. 
It's kind of odd. We need to talk. There's something I have to tell you. You should know. It wasn't my decision to take over your operation. Um, excited. Rage. This is it. Everything I've worked on these past years. Oh, I thought it was her talking, not him. Shit. This is Probably should have said the other one. Break we've been waiting for. This isn't about us yet. I just want things to go back to the way they were. How we left it. Things weren't so great between us. We've been through worse. A lot worse. Nothing has changed, Eric. You know that. You and I, there is no you and I. It's over. Please, Rach. Don't say that. Hmm. You're not wearing your wedding ring. Hey, be careful with that. Oh shit, sorry. Got in that box of tricks anyway. What the fuck is that? Ultraviolet light. We use it to sweep for explosives. Let me have a go. No. How much longer for that download, Clarice? I need it ASAP. It's five minutes ASAP enough for you? Downloading data now. Good. I'll check the satellite maps. Not the greatest bandwidth. We work with what we have. Can you sign this 1348? Huh? Equipment release form. Can you? Oh, sure. Check all equipment, then check it again. Yeah, I hear you. All right, it's still where it is, but he has a brand his neck. Speak to the team, inspect the briefing room. Let's keep uh, looking at this shit. Confidential, blah, 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 blah. That's, I think we already saw something similar to that. Stay focused. Alright, so this one was a secret. Small reports that aid workers have gone missing near the Iranian border. Okay. Oh, wow. Hold on. That's a lot of notes. 50 secrets, all right. That's the thing with the secrets in this game too, is some of them connect, so you see a little line. So like this note connects to something else, and then some of them connect with like a bunch of shit. Um, but yeah. Man, these guys don't wanna talk. Can you like get out of the corner, bro? <laughs> They're really playing cards with Saddam's face on them. This facility? He's in the vicinity, we'll get him. That almost makes it worth the risk. Almost. Well, you know, I'd still rather be sitting behind the desk. Sir, I've heard some fucked up stories about the border. You sure you don't want air support? There's a chance we'll need it. We have the element of surprise on our side. I will not allow anything to jeopardize that. Please, Colonel. Can we take a step back and think about this for a minute? I've made my decision. You feeling lucky, Lance Corporal? Well, my parents owned a horse named Lucky. He ran away. Bet the farm on this. I have a good feeling we're gonna clear up. I wish I shared your optimism, Colonel. Okay. Polish command. Cool. Dude, move, bro. Like, what are you stopping for? I don't see any other notes. There is this. Fucking grenade. All right, well. That's what I think it is. WP, sir. White phosphorus? It's just for popping smoke, that's all. 
These are only to be used for cover. Understood? Understood. After all, Saddam is the one who's breaking weapons conventions. Not us. Kind of shady. What the hell do we need this crap for? We need to be mobile. We need to be prepared. The facility is underground, possibly under construction. It's safer this way. You want me to feel safe? You give me some more shooters. Keep it nice. So, you're my technician. I've heard about you. I should fucking hope so. I'm here to keep our gear in check. And if any Iraqis pop their heads up, I'll take them clean fucking off. You seem pretty confident, Corporal. If you need any systems for the climbing gear, I'm here to help. Sure, I'll manage. Right? <laughs> climbing gear. Fucking pencil pusher. Maybe I could be a dick to that guy. He, um... We didn't get, like... His traits. I don't remember getting his traits. So maybe he's not gonna be like... I should go to the story. Seem like disposable. Yeah, I already saw that shit too. Unless there's something like on the other side. I didn't flip it around. Whoops. Nope, nothing. Okay. I think that's everything. I wouldn't look at the uh, screen. Um, okay, nothing. What am I? There we go. Downloads complete. Let's get to the helos. Did it really take five minutes to do that, or were they just, you know, make sure we looked at everything? What? What? You want to ask me something? I can tell by that look on your face. Who do you think I am? I take it you're talking about the skipper. He's a nice guy. Around here, nice don't cut it. What do you think of him? Like he's got something else on his mind. Salim. Salem Mothman, stubborn, courageous. All right, new character. He's got a fucking present. Zane, and a gate. Then? Find Zane. High University Shield. Do, do, do. Dear Zane, the board has approved your application for admission to the High Key University to read mythology in academic year 2003 4. Blah, blah, blah. The offer is conditional upon your require agreement to fulfill. Blink, blank, blank. All right. Actually, I should probably flip it over too, just in case. Yep, there you go. You achieved something that nobody in this family has before. I'm so proud of you, Zane. Now go bag that grade. Love always, Dad. All right. Damn it. Happy birthday, Zane. My boy is becoming a man. Love oh, always, so. Dad. How is that perfect? <laughs> Pretty 
Broken frame. Hold on. Shit. Dude, that kid has the creepiest fucking smile, bro. Jesus. That must be their mom. He mu they must have folded her out of the picture. She must be a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Where, where the fuck am I going? Your house is small as shit, dude. What am I looking for? Can I even go outside? Nope. Oh. It's another hallway. Bathroom, nothing. Dude, this fucking camera. Why are you so fucking zoomed in on it? Alright. Bedroom. Nothing. Yeah. All right, well, he's not here. Oh, busy and tanny. He's stealing shit. Nothing. Hello. Uh, hello, I'm Salim. Salim Garko. Abu Zain. Yeah. I forgot. Who was Zain? My, my. Who was in my abnick? ايوه صار هم مع بعض ام بي نايس لا لا كله تمام اصله كان عيد ميلاده وانا جبت له هديه اه لما يرجع ابعته لي حالا ما اقدرش اقول ايه بس انت عارف اللي بنقله ايوه ابعته لي لو سمحت كابتن بصري اهلا يا مولاس لازم اتحرك على طول انت بتقول ايه سعادتك العدو جاي يا سليم العدو جاي علينا دلوقتي العدو يا فندم الحرب خلصت خلاص وخسرنا لا ده كلام فارغ محدش السل العدو جاي ودي ارضنا واحنا لازم نتعرض ليها شايفينهم مصروف تاكيد يلا شوف جايين عليك بقول لك احنا محتاجين كل راجل في مكانه لاحسن دايرتهم توصل عندنا امم شيت فاين ما اقدرش اعمل ده يا فندم تاتر اون ذس تايم ابني محتاجني ده امر يا جندي مش طلب يلا يجب علي فهمت خلاص يا دار دي اخر مهمة Got a fake leg. In fish on, boys. We're coming in fast. Hey, Merwin. What's your mama and the Bermuda Triangle have in common? Why are you fucking it like? They both swallow Marines. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, boy. Hey, look. Your mama's so nasty. I called her for phone sex, and I got a fucking ear infection. 
Okay. I like that. I like that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like that? Yeah, I should tell more of those bad boys lined up. Yeah, that's what your mama said. You two want to cut the bullshit and focus on the mission? Hey, only one place I let a woman boss me around like that, all right? And that's between the sheets. I'm surprised your mom lets women into your bedroom. Don't want her getting jealous now. Damn yeah, right. <laughs> hey, the fuck y'all laughing at? Sergeant K, I need you to establish contact with the AWAC CP on four hour intervals. Sergeant K, are you with me? Yeah, I got it. Contact CP every four hours. Go ahead, this one. Hey, whatever's going on in there, compartmentalize that shit. I need you here with me. And I count on you. I'll ask you one more time. And I count on you. Yeah, I got you. I got your back, Nikki. No matter what. I know it. Make sure you do. These little bitches getting sad about some Semper pussy. Five. Semper Fi. Semper Fi? What's that, some kind of Boy Scout thing? It's a Marine thing. It means always loyal. So what, it's supposed to be lucky? Marines have a boatload of superstitions. Hit me with one. All right, check it out. They say to never look back when you're disembarking the helo. Otherwise, you curse the whole team. That's got to be about the stupidest thing I have ever heard. Yeah, well, maybe. But as I see it, why take a chance? Eyes forward at all times. You look backwards in a war zone. No wonder you get your ass shot off. We're good to go, Marines. What we were sent here to do, and may God be my witness, we're gonna succeed. Amen to that, brother. Hoorah! Hoorah!